Hello everybody! In Linux, files and folders can be deleted in many ways, and each of them offers a different level of control and flexibility depending on your needs. One of the most common methods is to use the RM command, which provides options to delete files, directories, and even recursive removal for entire directory trees. In today's video, I'll tell you how to recover files and folders lost in Linux after deleting or relocating, or after using such terminal commands as rm, rmdir, or mv. So, here is what I've got. Files in the Documents folder, an empty folder, and two folders containing files. The terminal commands and ways to recover data will be illustrated with the example of CentOS. However, they are also relevant for other versions of Linux. How to delete a file with Linux terminal? So, now I run terminal from a specific folder and delete a certain file. Let it be an image. For this purpose, I'll be using the command rm. So, I type the command rm, then follow it with the file name and its extension. The file is deleted, and it has not landed in the trash. How to delete a folder with Linux terminal? To delete an empty folder, we'll use the command rmdir. To do it, I type the command rmdir and follow it with the name of the folder. However, this command is not suitable to delete a folder with files. To delete files in a folder, you need to go to that folder and run the terminal from there. Only then you can delete a specific file with the help of the rm command, as we did before. Otherwise, to delete all files from a directory, that is, to clean its contents, type the following. If you want to delete a folder with all of its contents, use the command rm with the option r, which stands for recursively. Alright, now we have deleted a file from the documents folder, cleaned the contents of one folder and deleted one folder completely, together with its, with its contents. All these files and folders cannot be found in the trash, so how can we recover them? How to recover files and folders deleted with Linux terminal. Folders deleted with the rmdir command, as well as directories and their contents deleted with the rm command, never end up in the Linux trash folder. That is why it is believed that they can't be recovered. Let's try recovering such files and folders with a good data recovery tool – Hetman Partition Recovery. Run Hetman Partition Recovery. Click on the disk where this data used to be stored. Choose the scan type. For starters, a fast scan will be enough. When the scan is over, click Finish. The program has found our files. The files in the Documents folder, an empty folder, and two folders containing files. We can also view the files in the preview window. To have the files back, select them and hit the Recovery button. Choose the method to save them. Next, select the folder where to save them. Recovery. When the operation is complete, all files will be placed into the folder you have chosen. If the files were deleted a long time ago and it is only now that you realize they are missing, or if the program couldn't find the necessary data during a fast scan, then scan the disk again with full analysis. To do it, right-click on the required disk and choose Analyze again. As a rule, the program identifies the file system of the disk automatically. However, if you need to know the file system used for a specific disk, go to the Disks Utility to find this information.
how to recover files and folders relocated with Linux Terminal. I'd like to add a few words about the feature to relocate files and folders in Linux. The MV command in Linux operating systems is used to move or rename files and folders. It has many options, but we are not focusing on them in today's video. To relocate a folder, type a special command. For example, let's put the folder onto a USB stick. With this command. Disconnect the USB stick from the computer. Now the folder with files is lost. Run Hetman Partition Recovery. Click on the disk where this data used to be stored. Choose the scan type. For starters, a fast scan will be enough. When the scan is over, click Finish. The program has found our folder and marked it as deleted. That is, files and folders lost as a result of moving them can also be recovered. Now, summing up, deleting files in Linux is a powerful process and errors can result in data loss. Before using commands, make sure you have given the correct path to a folder and important files won't be affected. Choosing the suitable way of deleting depends on a specific scenario and it is always important to assess risks related to each method. And that is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to Hetman Software channel. Leave comments under the video to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!